Hi, this is Lisa from Lisa Heal Yourself, and today is my first official, um, helpful or not, book review. I did a, um, a book review on Steve Ozanich's book, The Great Pain Deception, which I absolutely love and think it is so worthy worth the read and um, have come up with this idea to do some more book reviews on things that have been really helpful and instrumental and then the things that have not been so helpful um, in healing. and. So it is fitting today that my first official Helpful or Not book review is going to be this one. This book is called Patient Heal Thyself by Jordan Rubin. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with Jordan Rubin out there, but if you're not, I'm just going to give you a quick summary of him. So he wrote this book and... Um, oh, look at the picture of him on the front, first of all. That was him. And then that was him two years later, okay? Sick and dying, doctors have diagnosed him. He's not gonna be able to make it. And he healed himself. And, you know, this is the only reason, probably, you know, what got me started on my journey and also what got me to this point and also why I'm talking to you now on this um, YouTube channel and even why my channel name is Lisa Heal Yourself, okay? It all stems from Patient Heal Thyself right here. And, um, okay, so I'm gonna take you back. I'm not gonna go deep into my story, but I'm gonna take you back. You know, I was alone, um, away on the other side of the country, actually a different country from my family. I was in a rehab detox facility so sick, unable to speak, talk, walk, see, uh, think, clearly do anything, pretty much ravaged, crying, screaming all day long. I mean, I was at the depths of being able to stay alive or, or live, um, being in excruciating physical agony with over 200 symptoms ravaging my body and basically just crying and begging to die. You know, I will review that facility at one point, but that is not what today's review is about. So I want to keep um, it light <laughs> after that downer of, a, of an intro. Anyways, when I left that facility, I was so sick and um, I did manage to, I, I, I pulled this book off the shelf in the facility that I was in. It was, it was, they had a bookshelf, like a library of different books and stuff. And I, I pulled this book off the shelf and I tried to start to read it, but of course I couldn't read. I couldn't read. I couldn't grasp the sentences. Um, but I put it in my broom in, um, one of my drawers and I was going to try to read it every day, but I couldn't. And I was, you know, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I couldn't read it. I, it couldn't help me. But um, I couldn't even pack myself up to leave that place. And when my husband packed everything up of mine, not realizing that it belonged to the place, he put it in my bag and I ended up bringing this home with me. So uh, yes, this was a stolen book. But anyways, um, I'm not planning to ever give it back. I, I love this book. So um, yeah, I put it in my bag and some point later, you know, maybe, maybe it was a year later when I was actually able to go through this book and start to read it. And it was the first um, story, and it was the first person who ever gave me hope, okay? And that is so important when you're chronically ill. You need stories of hope. And I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about Jordan Rubin. I've just pulled up his website, but for those of you who don't know him, he, you know, he's a natural health expert. He's been on many, he, he created the, um, the line of uh, supplements, Garden of Life, and back when um, they were super popular and he still owned them, I was buying those as my only supplements, like back, you know, maybe five, six, seven years ago, whatever, that was, that was my go-to brand of supplements. And um, he's also, you know, been an expert on health. He's, he talks sometimes with Dr. Axe and Dr. Axe's, Josh Axe's channel. Um, he's done many, many things, including written this book and, of course, his, his other books. But I'm just going to read quickly, quickly from his webpage. Jordan Rubin is regarded by many as one of the most respected and beloved natural health experts in America. His battle and triumph over Crohn's disease has resonated with millions around the world and is one of the most dramatic natural health stories ever told. Agree. Um, 
he he basically he created he he found a garden of life he wrote the maker's diet um, which is what really ultimately healed him. He created that line of supplements, and now he has a website called um, Live Beyond Organic, and he has that Beyond Organic um, farming that he does, and he sells the products and supplements, and also food uh, from his company. So anyways, without getting into too much about Jordan Rubin, um, and you know what, which is really funny, if I had a stumbled on him today, when I, sometimes when I watch him now on like, He'll be on the Natural Cures for Cancer with Ty Bollinger, or as a speaker, or on some of some expert panels with some, you know, whatever um, topic about natural health. He'll be on them, or even with Josh Axe, or even whatever. Sometimes, and, and when I read his books now, when I've gone back and read this book over, it can come off as very markety, uh, meaning he's pushing his own products, he's pushing his own supplements, and. Today, had I found this book, I probably would have ignored it and him because I don't like people who sell their own products and supplements because I think, you know, there's something in it for them. They're trying to gain something. Um, it comes off as marketing sort of and schemey and it just rubs me the wrong way, especially in this natural health world. But if that's how um, you've ever you know seen him and and thought of it I like it to urge you to think differently and it's definitely worthwhile to read this book because even the story um, I mean I sat with this book um, and I would just read his story over and over and the story gave me such hope I mean all the parts where it says like you know everything that you have to drink and do and eat and the supplements of the whole line and it pushes his whole line which you know comes off to me as you know, trying to make money and just being honest and, and I like to tell it how it is. But there's something very special about Jordan Rubin and this book, regardless that he sells his products. And I believe he's got good intentions. He comes from the heart. And I really believe be, someone having been there actually does want to make a difference. And yeah, he wants to make money off it. And so what? So what? Let him. Like all the power to him as long as they're good, top of the line products and... Um, he is giving out the information as well for free and he's, you know, he's lived it and I really believe he has a good, good, kind heart and he wants to help people and see them heal. And so this book, you know, when I was just like in the depths and on the ground begging God to take me or die and not knowing whether I was going to live or even see my children grow up. I would read this story over and over. This is going to make me emotional, this very first review, because his words kept me going. They kept, they give me hope. And I'm so glad I found this book for so many reasons. So anyways, I'm just going to open up this book. The dedication, I must have read a thousand times. And as I read it, um, the, the name of, or the, the title in his book is Patient Heal Thyself. And I remember laying in bed like, or on the floor and just like be sobbing and think to myself, Lisa, heal yourself. Lisa, heal yourself. Lisa, heal yourself over and over. When I finally did make this channel, um, it was fitting that it was called Lisa, heal yourself because I uttered that words to myself um, over and over based on the fact that his was patient, heal thyself. I just said over and over to myself, Lisa, heal yourself. Lisa, heal yourself. Lisa, heal yourself over and over and over. And so... Yeah, it inspired the whole name of of this channel as well. So his dedication, I probably read a thousand times, to all the people afflicted with illnesses that leave them fearful and hopeless and who suffer needlessly and don't experience the abundant life we were all meant to enjoy. This book and my prayers go out to each and every one of you. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that just touches me right here. And his story, I mean, I won't ruin it because I do want you to buy the book, but um, it resonated me because I was there. I was, I, I wasn't getting better. I, he went to, I don't know, I, I can't look in here, but he, he went to, he traveled all over. He tried so many things. Um, he was diagnosed with all kinds of things the litany just like I was he spent you know hundreds of thousands of dollars just like me he traveled all over just like me he he wanted he he resolved and he wanted 
to be healed. He wanted to, he never gave up that hope. And even at his very worst, he had his mother take that picture of him when he was standing there. And he just vowed to himself that one day I will be better. And you know what, he was. And that's so inspiring and it's so amazing. And if anything, let stories like this give you hope. They're worth the read. You know, they are worth seeing what the power of the human spirit can do. So, yeah, his story is just so dramatic um, and it really resonates with me. So the one thing that he said in here was improvement didn't come immediately. I had some Herxheimer reactions. I had, you know, things didn't, didn't go well all the time. But, I mean, for him, he attributed it to this black like powder that he, tar like soil that he, his dad had gotten him and um, ended up being one of the, the, a probiotic strain in there that he feels helped him um, regain his health. But when I actually reread this story, I'm not sure that it was the powder. I mean, he attributed it to the powder and maybe it was, um, but it was also like he had moved, he had started a whole new diet and he chose life instead of illness. He chose to focus on healing instead of focus on dying. And that's powerful. So with or without the black powder, with or without the supplements, he chose to live and he chose to focus on living and he chose to focus on the improvements. And, you know, he, he, he moved, he was in a camper, he was in a van, he slept, you know, outside and he was by the beach and he was breathing in the salt air. And there's so many things that could have contributed to his health and healing story. Um, I'm just gonna read you this part. So he says, looking back on my illness, I think the one thing I and others missed most about my old self was laughter. I didn't laugh very much when I was ill. And now, and okay, so then he goes on and on. And then now once again, I laugh, I tell jokes, and I'm even, an even better version of my old self. My bout with severe illness has made me stronger. Much like the story of Job in the Bible, the Lord had restored what was taken away and multiplied it more than I've, I could ever have imagined. So, I mean, we don't think of things like laughter, do we? Like laughing and how important that is and how much we take it for granted. And when you've cried and suffered, laughter seems so far away. It seems like it will never come, but it will come it will come it has come for me and it has come for it came for him and it feels so good to be able to laugh and to smile um, anyways so he attributes much of healing to what happens in the gut his was a real gut disorder and um, he had a lot of things like Crohn's but he, he also had a lot of other things but I honestly don't think it matters whether it's Crohn's whether it's pain whether it's chronic fatigue whether it is um, you know anxiety or depression I, I don't think it matters honest to God whether it's mental or physical or uh, you know he also overcame cancer at some point years later um, but Ultimately, ultimately he healed himself with the power of his will and his will to live in letting go of the sickness and choosing the health and choosing to live. And I think this book, even though um, there are many things about it, um, I mean, he, he definitely goes into how important stocks are and fermented juice and vegetable juice and and healing foods from the earth which are so have been so instrumental to my healing as well he will go into a lot of different supplements which again therapeutic foods and therapeutic supplements can be great but you know he does especially in this book and then he has the maker's diet book focus on supplements and he also focuses on um diet and i think that's so important but i also think the one thing that i'm recommending this book for is because of the message of hope of seeing somebody who's been down and out and rise back up the, that phoenix rising i think it's so important and also this just holds a very dear dear spot in my heart um so i doubt jordan will ever see this but if you do jordan thank you so much for writing this book and for sharing 
the dark journey with other people so that they can they can have something to cling on to like I clung on to anyway so yes I recommend this book wholeheartedly and anything that Jordan Rubin does I really um, believe that him his websites his products and this book other books and talks and lectures and programs that he has out are definitely worthwhile um, eating whole foods from the earth and you know having that spirit of life and love in your heart um, and just the will to live is so important so definitely I recommend this book thank you